how is getting exposure to light during the day going to help us go to sleep at night? And the reason why it's going to do that is because of two hormones that are the antithesis of each other. One is cortisol and one is melatonin. What melatonin is for sleep, cortisol is for wakefulness. And what really is beneficial about cortisol is having a very high signal at the very beginning of the day that tells the circadian rhythm, that tells the body, hey, let's get up, let's get ready for the daytime, it's time to get going. And then what that does is it really makes the timing of the circadian rhythm so essential that you get a much better melatonin at the end of the day. If you don't get that bright spike of light at the beginning of the day and that nice spike of cortisol, it's going to be this little wimpy thing because nothing happened. And then the body's going to be making up for that cortisol for the rest of the day such that when you get to the end of the day and you want to have this nice melatonin spike to get you to bed, you're going to be competing against the still secretion of cortisol toward the end of the day. And this chronic elevated cortisol levels are not good for the body.